Hello, I'm Jeff Little with Torquedo, and I'm going to show you how to do an install of the new Torquedo Ultralight 403A or 403AC. What the A stands for uh, is this new style mount uh, that we've developed for the kayak fishing market. Uh, so you could say that A stands for angler. The C is a, a different option um, that basically designates that you have a high capacity C for capacity battery. So there's two options, the 403A and the 403AC. Both have this mount, uh, but the, the C model has the 915 watt hour uh, extended range battery. The standard one, the 403A, has a 320 watt hour battery. What I'd like to show today is how quick and easy the install of this, this particular uh, new A mount is going to be. Uh, especially on the Wilderness Systems uh, kayaks like the, this is a Wilderness Systems Attack 120, uh, but also the Wilderness Systems uh, radars. Wilderness Systems really makes it easy for us by providing the, the right types of um, accessories, and three that I'm going to highlight in particular, uh, that really make this install uh, very easy. And the first one I'm going to go over is the the stern motor foot control kit. So this is basically a rudder kit without the um, the parts of the rudder that you're not going to use. Uh, this enables you to swap out the the fixed foot pegs, the fixed adjustable foot pegs, uh, with ones that have the extrusion that the foot peg slides into, hooks into the um, the cables which we're going to run actually it's not cable but it's this uh, this I think it's Dacron um, that will run through the pre-run tubes and come out the back of the boat and connect to the steering triangle on the motor so it, it in essence allows you to steer the the motor with your feet just like you would with a rudder. The next component uh, from Wilderness Systems that makes install uh, very easy uh, you have to have a place to to mount your Torquedo throttle and the Helix Motor Drive uh, throttle mount kit definitely is that and uh, it's it's a fairly quick and easy install you put it right in the tracks uh, the pre-existing track in the boat it's a real quick install the last one uh, the last of the three Wilderness Systems parts I wanted to go over are the stern plates now We've had stern plates for the, um, the radar, the Attack 140, and we've even had them for the Attack 120 uh, on either right or left. The Attack 140 and radars are central uh, for, for center mounting. And I've been working with the engineers uh, with Wilderness Systems to develop one that centers this new uh, 403A on the stern. Uh, beyond that, it, this, this actually is a prototype. Uh, I've been working with them. This is the first one uh, and, and we're, um, we're pretty happy with it so far. It is a thicker stern mount. Um, reason for that, we wanted, um, we wanted something to be as strong as possible. Uh, the attachment points on this, we actually have six of them um, that basically bolt into the, um, the existing threaded inserts molded into the kayak. So six attachment points here. Um, the four bolt pattern for this uh, Torquedo Ultralight 403 AC. And then there's also, if you'd like to put a power pole here and here, you can do that. So you can do Torquedo, power pole, power pole. Um, so that's, that's a nice option. I also asked them because uh, this particular stern plate is so large and it blocks access to the handle. Um, you know, we actually, you know, created handles out of the stern plate itself. So having those six different attachment points in the threaded inserts is real important because um, you're actually going to be lifting the boat by the stern plate. So, but we'll go ahead and get into um, to the installation here in a moment. We'll do some close-ups and I'll show you a step-by-step -step of that process. And then we'll finish uh, with a wrap up of the different features um, that are nice for kayak anglers with this Torquedo Ultralight 403 AC. Uh, but the first thing I want to discuss is the tools that you're going to need for this install. Um, I'm going to start right off by letting you know 
that this tool right here, we will not be using this. This is a no drill install. So we're gonna set that aside. And I'm gonna show you the very simple tools that you'll need to do this install. One, a simple Phillips screwdriver. Two, you need a set of Allen keys. And three, you need a socket set. That's it. So it's a no drill install that utilizes Wilderness Systems accessories to make for a very easy install. Let's go ahead and dive in. We've come up to the cockpit of the kayak and I'm going to show you two things that we're going to install up here. This one is the, the track mounted, um, here's the part that goes into the track. This is the motor lift. So if, as we want to lift the motor up out of the water, we can do that from right here. It doesn't matter whether you put this one right or left, it's just sort of angler preference. Um, I'm right-handed and that's probably the one I use the most. I'm going to install that on the right side. And then this one is just a simple line guide. And this one is for the reverse lock. And we'll run that line back and I'll show you what we do back there after I install the this one on the other track. So if you've ever done a, a rudder install, you know what's going on here. Thankfully, Wilderness Systems put two inserts on this this part. So this this part just taking these taking the existing foot pegs stationary yet adjustable foot pegs coming out is really easily done. Um, <clears throat> I've done it before where you don't have them. You don't have the inserts and it's hard to get in there or where you have one at the front and not one at the back or vice versa whatever they did us a big favor by doing two inserts here so i've already taken the, the sliding foot peg and put it down in that extrusion and i've pre-threaded the shorter that's the shorty um, hardware shorter screw than what you just took out it's not the same one but I will go ahead and line that up thread it through there and uh, I'll repeat it on the other side and then we're gonna we're gonna put the line through there through the uh, the tube back here right. that one's secure slide that forward take the second one so this is a line you're going through that you're going to put through the you know, pre-plumbed tube there and you're just going to tie it to, I'm going to pick up the other, the other one just to show you. You're just going to tie to that, that little opening there. And just tie it on there and then it's adjustable. As I'm putting this, this cord in here, I am gonna talk a little bit about the, um, the position of your foot pegs. You'll see the sliding foot pegs I have here. I have the adjustable, you know, where, where the pad actually sits. You can adjust it back for someone with shorter legs, but I don't really, care who you are whether you have a set of long legs or short legs having this as far forward on this track as possible is a good idea um, because it what it's doing is with the adjustable seat moving the seat forward you're putting as much weight forward in the kayak as possible and that's a good thing uh, it actually helps you get better speeds with the kayak having more weight forward uh, than, than backward um, and kayak anglers in particular tend to put a lot of our the gear weight behind the seat so it really comes down to you know is your is your boat riding with a bow up like this inefficiently or is it you know bow down and just flat and moving very efficiently you can really tell the difference um, 
in speed when you move a lot of weight forward in a boat um, it just performs faster and more efficiently now before we can go ahead and install the the stern plate uh, we're going to do two things uh, one we're going to remove the existing hardware from the inserts uh, and this includes the uh, these small placeholder screws that are in these four inserts but also the handle we're going to remove this handle because we want this completely flat uh, to have good good contact you know so that stern plate has good contact good connection with the boat because we're going to exert a lot of force on this both with the motor and also power poles so we want this to be totally flat and one two three four five six inserts ready and then we will line that up but before we put it on there we have to put the the motor on the stern plate because there's going to be some hardware underneath there that we'll need on there first so let's see those are my four holes right there and I have hardware over here I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that and then we'll bring this back when it's together so this is just a matter of lining up the four bolt pattern getting your stainless steel I think these are quarter 20s lined up there I'll do the the inside ones first flip that over hopefully not lose my hardware put those on there just get them finger tight and then I'll do the other two with that secure on there and all of the hardware removed from the the threaded inserts we'll go ahead and line all these up uh, there are two longer ones that fit where the the handle hardware was from when we took the handle off because we're replacing it with this handle and that one on the other side so we'll line them up and get them all secured on here tighten them down and then we'll talk about how you arrange the motor on the mount uh, it, it sort of depends on which kayak you're you're working with since most of the wilderness systems boats have the um, the rudder tubes pre-installed underneath the surface they'd be mounting we're going to have the steering triangle on the the bottom half of the uh, the motor mount if you had cables coming out through the top somewhere up here you would have the steering triangle up here we'll get into that a little bit later but now think of this as a you know a blank canvas if you will for for kayak anglers to rig all sorts of things um, off the stern you know I, I mentioned obviously the torpedo uh, we have that centered on there um, we talked about power poles but there's all sorts of other accessories from camera mounts to anchor booms to I don't know all, all manner of different different accessories a lot of you know flat space here that you can you can do a lot with so all right um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the the motor and its pivot drum in place here and we're gonna discuss how I have this this particular one arranged this one is arranged for the attack 120 and here's the the quick release there that just drops right in um, so I said that this was set up for the attack 120 because or you can't really see but we have underneath here we have the um, the pre-plumbed rudder control tubes it's going to come out here where they come out you want to 
want them to have a straight shot to this thing right here. This is the steering triangle. Now I have another quick release clip here um, so that this can slide up and be in the right um, at the right level for when the lines come out and connect to the steering triangle. But when when you're in the stow function, you want this to be able to drop down, slide this up, you bring this down. It's a nice function. It um, just allows the kayak angler to to secure that for transport. It's a real easy, quick way to to you know bring the motor up and and have it high enough and just throw it in the back of the pickup truck or a roof rack or, or trailer or however they're transporting it. Um, a lot of their tournament anglers are really going to enjoy that function, that stow function. Uh, and then I already mentioned the, the quick release function where you can just pull it off. Uh, that way, for security's sake, you know, you're, you're not worried about your motor being stolen off the back of the kayak if you, you know, stop off at a restaurant on the way back or you're, you're parked somewhere overnight. You can secure the motor inside your vehicle. But for now, we're going to set this up um with the steering triangle i will say this is the motor lift bar right up here we're going to connect a line here that's going to help lift this motor up when you come shallow so i've put that on top and if you look here um, i've already put on you know with a screwdriver and, and an allen wrench i've put this motor lift bar on there we're going to run a line through here connect it to it and you know, kayak angler up in his seat can lift that right up. Um, the point is, whatever is on the top side here needs to be with this hardware that's not the quick release hardware. Uh, and you get one set that's like this with the, the Allen key and the, you know, the, I think it's a, you know, just a little hex knot there. Um, and then the bottom, whatever's on the bottom will have the the quick release so that you can you can slide this up or down for that stow function but when it's an operation you want it up like this now i'm going to take the <clears throat> reverse lock line put it through this little guide here it's just a molded part of the the mount and uh eventually i'm going to connect it here so i'll tie a little knot here to get that secured and I'll do the same here in a moment with the rever or the motor lift that looks sufficient run the other line through there these clips just make it so that you can you can undo the motor um, if you're taking it all the way off as part of that quick release function. So this will clip to, and we're gonna revisit the stove function. Slide that up, clip that on, and we're good to go for the stove function. Um, I will go ahead and go to the front and just show you the motor lift in action here. The final part of the install is finding placement for the Torquedo throttle in a place where it's not really in the kayak angler's way, but it's in the perfect spot where you can read the display, uh, which gives you your remaining battery life speed, remaining range, and watt draw. We're going to start by taking the T-bolt out of the bottom here. <clears throat> Hopefully we don't lose it. And we're going to put it into this little slot here. And then we can just tighten it on there nice and snug. And we can place it on the bottom. We just got two metric screws here. Just a Phillips head. It's metric because the threads, you know, on the throttle itself, this is a 
product that's made in Germany, so we have the right metric hardware that comes with the Helix motor drive throttle mount kit. Right, I'm just tightening that on there. And from there, it's as simple as opening the T-bolt the and uh, sliding it onto the track, screwing it in to secure it. And from there, <clears throat> there's lots of adjustability with how they want it positioned, what angle they want, do they want it further back. You can slide it up, you can put it on the track that's up here. I kind of think it makes sense back here, close to the kayak angler, but you know, that's at their discretion. They'll figure out what works best for them, what's in the way and what's out of the way. But having that adjustability, that ability to put it wherever they need is, uh, is nice. Because kayak anglers like to customize. So that's about it. With the installation now complete, I'd like to do a brief review of the different functions of the Torquedo Ultralight 403A. We'll start with the reverse lock here where you can engage reverse and the motor will not kick up. And it'll start to back the boat up. But if you release it, and you are moving forward, if it hits something, it will lift up. The motor lift function, we can see right here, so that when you see that you are coming shallow, you can quickly bring the motor up out of harm's way. I'll take the motor lift line off, and I'm gonna engage this quick release on the steering triangle to show you the stow function. Again, this is a nice option for kayak anglers that like to quickly get off the water, stow their motor, and get their boat either onto the roof rack, into the pickup truck, or onto the trailer. There are four different trim adjustment positions here, and in order to do that, you simply remove the pin here, pull that up, and slide it back in whatever position you feel is going to work best with your particular kayak. I would think with, and, and I have tested it in different positions with different boats, uh, you do want the motor pipe angled backwards just a little bit, so I'm going to guess that this trim position here probably is going to yield the best top end speed and range efficiency at a number of different speeds. With the new steering triangle, we have four different levels of sensitivity. The further in you go, the more sensitive the steering is, and the further out you go, the smoother and more powerful the steering will be. In order to show the quick release function, we will go ahead and take the cables off of the steering triangle, let that slide down. We're going to remove the lift line, the reverse lock line, open the quick release, and the motor comes right off for security reasons. We can put that right back on there very quickly when we're ready to get back on the water. Now most kayak anglers will enjoy the foot control steering option if for some reason they prefer to keep the steering locked, uh, that can be done by dropping a pin right in there that corresponds with, and you're actually gonna use the steering triangle as a corresponding hole to line up with that pin. The new Torquedo Ultralight 403A and 403AC matched with a Wilderness Systems kayak and Wilderness Systems components like the Helix motor drive throttle mount kit and the stern motor foot control kit and stern plates make for a really easy no drill install. Um, it also makes for a very nice uh, speed and range combination. 
Wilderness Systems boats typically perform uh, at or near the top of the the spectrum in terms of the the speeds uh, that you can get out of this 400 watt motor. We are working on a more powerful option that's coming soon and the collaboration with Wilderness Systems to make this stronger stern plate is certainly part of that along with beefing up this uh, this style mount uh, to handle a lot more power. So motor up with Wilderness Systems in the Torquedo Ultralight 403A or 403AC.